Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's Amin here with Muslim CEO. And I wanted to answer the question today, how do I apply the 80-20 rule to my business? Now, you might have heard of the 80-20 rule. Basically, in simple terms, it's the rule that uh, a certain Mr. Pareto um, kind of discovered in, in nature. What he found is that 80% of the output, okay, of the results, often they only come from 20% of the input. So what do we what do we take out of this is that we should focus on that 20%. How can we put our everything into that 20% that's generating 80% of the results and the other 80% of the effort we should maybe consider discarding that completely because it's only generating 20% of the results, okay? So how do we apply this to business? Well, firstly you need to have a way of knowing what the 80 and what the 20 is right what is generating all the output or most of the output for you and what is you're putting a lot of work in but it's not generating much results how do we do this well you need a regular way of looking at your metrics so right so the first thing you need to be monitoring and measuring stuff you need to be putting numbers down okay this could be through something simple like a spreadsheet in a spreadsheet you should have key numbers key metrics that are success metrics for your business and you should be plotting that in every day or every week whatever makes sense for you right and then at least something like every month once a month you look at those numbers and you say okay we did this much work and we got this much result and when you keep looking at that month by month month by month month by month you're going to start seeing trends that this we're spending five hours a week on and it's generating so many results whereas this we're spending five hours or 10 or 15 hours a week on this and it's only generating that Therefore, we want to double down on that activity that was only five hours, but generating so many results. And for the others, maybe you want to question whether we should continue them or not. And this is how you build a very efficient, very you know, time effective business where your employees are working with their man to their maximum potential and you don't have to hire new staff to do things that are not efficient in the first place. So that's how you can start at least to apply the 80-20 rule to your business. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته